What's up folks? Welcome back to Father and Son's Fishing. Today we're going to be crabbing um, and we're going to be at the wildlife pier under the Washington Bomb Bridge in um, out the Outer Banks, North Carolina. There's just a couple of problems though. Problem number one, it's cold. Problem number two, it's raining. Problem number three, it's windy. Problem number four, we don't have much time. And problem number five, Alex has no raincoat. So we stopped and got him a cheap poncho that I don't even know if it's going to do anything. So we have all those constraints right now, but we're still going to get out there and see if we can get on some crabs. Now, before we get started, we want to give a special mention to Titus at Your Next Cast. There's almost no chance that you are a subscriber to our channel, Father and Sons Fishing, and you don't subscribe to his channel. But in the rare event there is one or two of you out there where that's the case, please head over to Titus's channel, Your Next Cast, and check him out. He just reached 3 million or 3 trillion subscribers, one of those two. And he's doing this month-long giveaway shout-out session that's been really fun. And we were fortunate enough to be one of the channels shouted out on his channel. And when he did that, he went through some of our videos and mentioned one of the videos where we talked about the difference between a male and female crab, and he found that informational and helpful. And now we're gonna get the male. This is a male. Because the claws are darker than the female. So I actually think there is a harder distinction between an immature female and a mature female. So that was basically a long thank you to Titus and also a kind of introduction to hopefully we can tell y'all the difference between a mature female and an immature female crab. You want to show them what a mature kid looks like? This. Right here. That's how to identify a mature kid. But let's stop talking and get on the crabs. How's that sound? That was perfect. Mature kid. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just doing two cuts. I'm doing one here and then the other here. We're going just down the uh, ventral surface just to kind of expose the guts. So cutting the head almost off up to the spine because this is where the zip tie is going to hold it. And then we want to just open up the cavity. The more slimy, gross, stinky the better it is for the crabs. <laughs> All right, baby. Viv, look at the fishies. Look at the fishies, Vivi. All right, pal. Let's get those in there. All right, pal. So hand me a zip tie. We're going to basically use two fish per zip tie, okay? See what I did? So I put it basically around the, the necks here where I cut in and then I put it so the guts are kind of exposed that way and that way we're getting two fish. So we'll probably do six fish to start out with. Alright, zip tie. We got Alex who is going to pull up the first trap and see. Oh, we got some fish. You got three fish. Here, keep keep it up. Keep the trap up here. So let's identify these fish here. We got uh, a croaker. A, no, that's that's not croaker. That's a pinfish. I think they're all pinfish. Yeah. Although I have the tr I have trouble telling the difference between a pinfish and a pigfish. Depends on. I'm wondering if that's a pigfish. But either, we're gonna let these guys go. You pigfish. Are you pig? you have to be like oh you have to be like oh. You have to be like Ryan and kiss the fish. Give him a little kiss. The NFC East is so bad. In all the history of the NFL, this is one of the worst. For the Cowboys, the Washington football team, and the Eagles, this, they're all playing horribly. The Giants, I think I mentioned Giants. I don't even know. Don's team. Um, but they're playing so bad that the winner of the NFC East it could be like one of the worst teams in the whole NFL. But they would still make the playoffs. It's very likely that the the winner of the NFC East this year is going to have a losing record. I have a good feeling about this spot. I think it's going to catch us some crab. This one feels heavy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's easily a keeper. So it does look like a female, but. Yeah, she's mature. Oh, yes. 
like six really yeah it's almost six so far we got one crab a really nice female mature female in north carolina you are allowed to keep females if they're over five inches and they are mature did you let those birds steal all of our bait we had these fish laying down and alex completely dropped the ball let the birds steal all it of it worked for me like i chased them away they probably would have stolen more fish all right pikey let's get let's get this next trap you can redeem yourself by getting us another crab okay all right let's do it alex has guaranteed there will be a crab in this one. He has guaranteed it. Pretty He's pretty confident. <laughs> Nothing? That means you gotta jump in. Jump in. Well, I'm in that. <laughs> you're, like, you're like the worst commentator I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. <laughs> like, your commentation doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> At least I know you're not going to have a career as a broadcaster in sports. <laughs> I can hear you calling a baseball game. Ball in. <laughs> Ball out. Bat on shoulder. <laughs> Swing at ball. Hit ball. Baseball. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, bro? <laughs> Go for it. Good pull here. Good pull. Does it feel heavy? Yo! Yes, yes. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it. That's a good one. That's a good one. Nice. All right. It's another female, but she's mature. She's de she's huge. Okay. Um, yes. Or my mans, go for it. Oh, yeah. Pull that sucker up here. Oh, no, that's a female, I think. Careful, careful. Careful. Don't put it straight down, because then they'll get away. So it's a female. It's a mature. The question is big enough. And size is good, okay. Okay, folks, we recently did a crabbing video where we taught you all the difference between a male and a female, but there's an important distinction with female crabs between a mature female and an immature female. This here is a mature female. The way you tell a mature female is that this apron has a more rounded appearance. If it was more of a straight triangular shape, that would be an immature female. Also, the mature females tend to have a darker color here. So if you are gonna keep a female crab, it's important to know the difference between a mature and an immature female. Okay, back to the crab. This. Let's go. Okay. This looks like a male. This guy awaits his fate. Unfortunately for this guy, I think he's gonna keep. Let's find out if he meets the boiling cauldron of father and son's fishing. He does. Oh, Alright, so before the boiling cauldron is the ice cold bath. Oh my god, if that score holds up, we will remain in first place in the NFC East. <laughs> the dumpster fire of the NFL. <laughs> Alright, we're going to check these traps. Hopefully there's one more. If not, we still got a good feed for tonight. Make me proud, Alex. Make me proud. Oh! Nice! That's a keeper. Okay, just hold it up. What's up, folks? Welcome to the outro. Um, we are going to boil up some crabs. We got some potatoes cut by Alex Pykindl in less than five minutes. Um, we got some lemons, some garlic, and onion. And we got some apple cider vinegar. Um, I've tried this before. It is absolutely disgusting. Um, it's good at first, but then it gets really tangy, and it's. Uh, I don't even want to think about drinking that again. So who's in first place right now? In the NFC East. The least. Like we don't even deserve to be in the NFL. We don't. You're right, but we are. 
who do we want to thank? Which channel do we want well, to thank? Well, we want to thank um your next cast, um Titus from your next cast. Because he... Because he shouted us out. And what do we think he should do, him and the Tsar of London particularly, who are awesome fishermen, him and London like catch so many fish. And it would be a shame if they didn't do a... Catch and cook! I've never seen them do a catch and cook before um, on their channel. And of course I watched all of their videos. That's all I got. Peace out, subscribe, get the bell on. See you soon. That was perfect. What do you think, bud? All right, just grab it. <laughs> so good. If you're in EDG, I don't have a roll of napkins right near you. And I'll link that video right up here. Wait, which? It's gonna be on this. Side. No, it's gonna be on this side. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be up here. I'm telling you. I'm, tell I'm telling you. Is it's it gonna be. It's gonna left shoulder. It's Is gonna it be up here. While we see it it's all? gonna be up here. What's up, fellas? It's fishing. You have the lens cap on, so you can't see anything. Now it's off. You know, like I'm the best commentator ever. Zip tie. Oh. Fumble. All right, you could definitely play for the Eagles. <laughs> nice and stinky, just like our Eagles. And click the bell too. I never said that before, but the bell. Get the flipping bell on. <laughs> this is gonna be a 20 minute video of this, the camera staring at me eating a crab. Peace out, folks. See you soon.